Okay, in this video, I just want to talk to you about Criterion D for MYP design and how you can get top marks, how you can get 8 out of 8 for design in Criterion C. Uh, so there's five sections that we need, basically. Um, the first one is the testing, the testing method. So uh, you've built your product, now it's time to test it. So the first section, just explain the test. Who's going to be testing or how many people? When's it going to actually happen? What, are the, what, what, are, what is the measure of success for your uh, product as well? And that's directly linked to the design specifications as well. Uh, so just outline the test, what's happening. Uh, the next section is the results of the test. So you may uh, generate some data uh, based on uh, the units of measure, or you may have collected a lot of feedback from people, or you may have one client and you've got some detailed uh, comments about your product as well. So this is the uh, just the results of the test. So a section of the results of your test. Now the third section, uh, we now need to analyze these results. So this analysis of these results could be explanations of certain components, or reasons or trends or patterns that may be occurring, but there needs to be some critical analysis of the test, uh, the testing results. So that is the third section. Now the fourth section, uh, basically there needs to be an, uh, an outline of how you could change your product and make it better. So if you were to uh, do, you create this product again, starting from the beginning, what changes would you make so it's a better product? Now, it's a, and you need to justify these changes as well. Identify the changes that you'd make and justify or explain them as well. Now, they should be linked to, uh, to the design specifications. So I'm going to make this change. If I made this change, it would better address this design specification. It can also be linked to the target audience or the client as well. So if I was to make this change, the client would uh, be um, more satisfied with the product. Uh, if I was to make this change, then this target group would uh, be more interested, more use of this product. Um, now the last section is basically uh, how your product has had a positive impact on society. So you can talk about how your new product has made the client's life easier, better, and how, and, and, and justify or not, not explain how it's made their life better. Uh, or your product has made this target uh, target audience made their life better. It has had a positive impact on, on their lives or the, uh, with your product. This can be realistic or also can you can perhaps even be theoretical as well. So my product will have a positive impact on society in these ways. So that's the last section. So if you can cover all of those in detail, you'll get 8 out of 8. You'll get top marks for Criterion D in Design MYP.